In today's video, we are going to explore John Mason thought-provoking quotes that will help you fight your fears and defeat your worries. Let's get started. Action attacks fear, inaction reinforces it. All obstacles reveal what you really believe and who you really are. They introduce you to yourself. An original is hard to find, but easy to recognize. Change is life. Choose to be forward-focused, not past-possessed. Learn to profit from the past while investing in the future. Do not stop after a success. Keep the forward momentum. Don't stop after a failure. Dust yourself off, learn the lesson, and start up again. Don't belong so completely to others that you do not belong to yourself. The fact is that we're all in this together, by ourselves. Don't tell me worry doesn't do any good. I know better. The things I worry about don't happen. Don't blame anyone or anything for the circumstances you find yourself in. If you do that, you are saying you are powerless over your own life. Don't consume your tomorrows by feeding on your yesterdays. Every morning I spend 15 minutes filling my mind full of God, and there's no room left over for worry thoughts. Every obstacle has a limited lifespan. We worried about things last year that we can't even remember today. Excuses are for people who don't want it bad enough. Stop saying, I'll try, maybe later, I can't, I won't, I don't have the time, or I might. Instead, start saying, I can, I will, and I won't give up. Failure doesn't mean nothing has been accomplished. There is always the opportunity to learn something. Faith builds a bridge from this world to the next. Before you can go high you must first go deep. Faith is like a toothbrush. Everyone should have one and use it daily, but you shouldn't try to use someone else's. God has put me together a certain way, on purpose for a purpose, at this exact place in time. God is faithful. He will provide a way out for you. You can take your stand of faith and boldly proclaim, I'm going to get through what I've been going through. God loves you just the way you are, but he loves you too much to leave you the way you are. God won't give up on you. Don't you give up on God. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39. Here's the key to getting free from the stranglehold of past failures and mistakes. Learn the lesson and forget the details. Gain from the experience, but do not roll the minute details of it over and over in your mind. Build on the experience and move forward in your life. I couldn't wait for success, so I went ahead without it. I have found that it is better to be alone than in the wrong company. A single conversation with the right person can be more valuable than many years of study. If you aren't sure which way to go, pray and move toward the situation in faith. If you wait for perfect conditions, you will never get anything done. It is always better to fail in doing something than to excel at doing nothing. It is right to be content with what you have but never with what you are. Happiness will never come to those who fail to appreciate what they already have. Don't make the mistake of looking too far ahead and missing the things close by. 
I've found four keys to letting go of the past. First, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Second, decide to stop investing your time in past thinking. Third, focus on today. Finally, forgive. Forgive yourself. Forgive those who, by their actions, keep you living in the past. Keep your feet on the rock when you reach the end of your rope. The only way we can lose is to quit. Quitting is a decision we make that can keep us from reaching God's goals in our lives. Laughter is like changing a baby's diaper. It solves a problem and makes things more acceptable for a while. Let God dominate your day. Mediocrity is a region bound on the north by compromise, on the south by indecision, on the east by past thinking, and on the west by a lack of vision. Most people don't succeed because they are too afraid to even try. They don't begin due to the fear of failure. Most people quit when they're on the verge of success, often when fulfillment is at their fingertips. There is only one degree of difference between hot water and steam. Don't stop one degree from your destiny. Hang on, press on, and never give up. Never respond out of fear, and never fear to respond. Never take direction for your personal life from a crowd. Never choose to quit just because somebody disagrees with you. In fact, the two worst things you can say to yourself when you get an idea are, that's never been tried before, so I can't do it, and that's been tried before, so I can't do it either. Someone else's failure in a particular area does not guarantee your failure. Never worry about how much money, ability, or equipment you are starting with, just begin with a million dollars worth of determination. Remember, it's not what you have, it's what you do with what you have that makes all the difference. No one can carry the weight of the past. It slows you down, makes you want to quit, and tires you out. You need to let go of the past. Nobody can ever make you feel average without your permission. Nothing significant was ever achieved without enthusiasm. Obstacles don't block the path, they are the path. Embrace them, and let them take you higher. Quit making excuses, putting it off, complaining about it, dreaming about it, whining about it, crying about it, believing you can't, worrying if you can, waiting until you're older, skinnier, richer, braver, or all around better. Suck it up, hold on tight, say a prayer, make a plan, and just do it. Right is right even if everyone is against it, and wrong is wrong even if everyone is for it. Rising above mediocrity never just happens, it's always a result of faith, combined with works. Faith without works is like gold within the earth. It is of no value until it is mined. A person who has faith, but no actions is like a bird that has wings, but no feet. The Bible says, faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Biblical principles multiplied by nothing equal nothing. Let's be people who put our faith into action. One individual with faith and action constitutes a majority. Stay far away from negative thinking experts. Remember in the eyes of average people, average is always considered outstanding. Stop constantly talking about the situation you're going through. Decide to get through it. The devil smiles when we make plans. He laughs when we get too busy. But he trembles when we pray. 
The first rule for happiness is to avoid lengthy thinking on the past. The great evangelist Billy Sunday once said, Fear not at my door. Faith answered. And there was no one there. The more we look backward, the less we are able to see forward. The past does not determine what God can do for us today or tomorrow. The more we're like Jesus, the more we become who we're supposed to be. The most influential person you will talk to all day is you. So, you should be very careful what you say to you. The person who really wants to do something finds a way, the others find an excuse. The word worry is derived from an Anglo-Saxon term meaning to strangle or to choke off. There is no question that worry and fear choke off the positive creativity God gives us. The world is a book where those who do not take risks read only one page. There are two quick ways to disaster, taking nobody's advice and taking everybody's advice. Learn to say no to the good so you can say yes to the best. There is one guaranteed formula for failure, and that is to try to please everyone. There is power in putting that dream on paper. When you commit something to writing, commitment to achievement naturally follows. There is power in taking small steps. To fulfill your calling in Christ, you must first forget past failures and mistakes. Today is the day to shake off the shackles of the past and to move forward. The past is past. What benefit is running if you're on the wrong road? What is important is not whether you are busy but whether you are progressing. When fear rises in our minds, we should expect the opposite in our lives. When the mind is in doubt, it is easily swayed by slight impulses, opening the door to many wrong decisions. Worry is a route that leads from somewhere to nowhere. Never let it direct your life. Worry isn't reality. Worry is really the triumph of fear over faith. You draw nothing out of the bank of life except what you deposit in it. The height of your potential is in proportion to your surrendering to what is right. People who live right never get left. You were born an original. Don't die a copy. Please let us know your favorite quotes from these John Mason thought-provoking quotes that will help you fight your fears and defeat your worries in the comments section. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.